how did you connect with Spike? I went to, I knew Spike even before high school. So we grew up in Maryland. Um, Has his dick. You know, I don't even know if I've ever seen Spike's dick. That's weird. Well, whatever. Um, There's still time. <laughs> still time. Um, but anyway, we grew up in Maryland and uh, went to high school one year together. And then he moved, he skipped college and moved out here. And I went to college and it just timed out that he, he was working for a BMX magazine, Freestyling. Yep. And uh, wow. they needed a new art director right when. They needed a new game plan. Right when I graduated. So I came out and I got that job. And then, so we worked together for a year. But and were, did you know him as a skater? And I knew him as a, yeah, yeah. We're both BMX and skater. First BMX. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. that's where we go back. And then we both started skateboarding. I mean, I assume there were hardly any skaters in your school at that time there were hardly any skaters and yeah hardly any bmxers <laughs> yeah yeah i used to get bullied for wearing vans back in like junior high school like now yeah, every kook's wearing them right but it's like you know they're so it was like a weird you know oh i used to hide my skateboard in ninth grade in the bungalows in the bushes i got beat up got in the cricket nets for a whole lunch break because i was a skateboarder yeah that was my first time experiencing fame wow everybody knew me Aren't you the guy that got beat up in cricket nets? With and I was like, I am. Hell yeah. Yeah, and then the rest is history. Cricket nets. I was actually, I was uh, on, sponsored on the verge of turning pro. And I was getting harassed in school. Like, yeah. I, had to, I had to not pretend like I didn't skate. That's crazy. Because at that time, I was like, you're a golden god. <laughs> and people were picking on you in school. But I assume you gone to school with Spike in Maryland. No one was... Getting love for skating. Yeah, no one, no, we were weirdos. And... <laughs> yeah. So what was that like putting together a BMX magazine? It was awesome. Yeah, I don't know. It was the same as putting together. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, I mean, you knew I didn't... enough about it, like you knew what tricks and stuff. Yeah, to do. and I, I didn't, I was really just the art director at that. I just took all the articles, everything, put it all together. Are you any good at BMX? I was all right. How good were you? You do a bar spin? No, I couldn't do a bar spin. But so I could, you I, could do, I did, you know, I could get six feet out on a quarter pipe or a oh pipe. yeah oh that's legit so that's, that's legit as hell yeah, yeah yeah you think you could drop in on a vert ramp not now yeah, yeah you well. know i used to do the old school like drop straight oh. down and in, you know like like, like tail drop on oh the tail my drop god oh, that's gnarly <laughs> that's the that's how i thought they did it that's how they did it back then we were kind of making it up they never you know? went in, they never went in they hadn't figured out to go in sideways the yet spike figured that out yeah well, so he used to what do, do you that mean? He i would just drop it? no no but on the east coast he was the only dude one. that is the dumbest way to go into a ramp <laughs> on a bike so and, there and ride it down the ball <laughs> there's no money about how hard you slam on your first tail drops yeah like a bmx that's just like guaranteed headbutt to the flat straight to the flat yeah you could do that. And I had coaster break, you know, so you just bounce on that coaster break and then let it fall. And <laughs> nah. That's pretty sick. No so way. We need a video of someone doing that. Yeah, I might have one somewhere, but I don't know. I mean, anyone. But yeah. if we have one of you, all the better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I was, yeah, I was just real heavy-footed BMX. So like, I'd, I'd break shit, break the ramp. Yeah, I can relate. Yeah. Did you, so did you and Spike identify with each other like, oh, we love chaos? Yes. Yeah. Pretty much. Like he worked at this, uh, it was called Rockfield BMX. It was like the biggest bike shop on the East Coast. And he was like a little kid. He was like 12. And that's where I would go get all my parts and hang out mm -hmm. at the shop. And it, it was you know, just a fun, crazy group of people. That So, yeah, chaos was already built into it. But I'm, I'm so curious because I, I just remember, I mean, I saw the beginnings of, of Big Brother and eventually Jackass. And Spike was always pivotal in all of that. Um, because he just loved it. I mean, he lo you know even when World started, like he loved yeah Rocco and Jeremy because they were just out of control. And trouble. And, and no one, you know, everyone thinks he's just this little arty guy who just does yeah. you know nice you know smart movies. But like, um, yeah, one time we were go we were going down to shoot Matt Hoffman. We were going down to San Diego, and uh, our uh, freestyle had this minivan, like a Chevy Astro van, and we had a big bike box in the van. And uh, he was driving, and I'm riding shotgun. We're going down the five. He's driving about like 80, 90 miles an hour, and he puts it in cruise control. And then he just bails out of the back seat. He's like, hold the wheel. And I'm like, hold the wheel over the bike box. And then he bails out of the back seat and goes and sits in the back of the van. Yeah. And he won't come back. And so I'm like, oh, shit, and I can't get to the <laughs> Yeah. Seat. Oh, my so if, God. If at any point, you know, like traffic which you know yeah you know, anyone who's driven in la knows that it comes to a stop quick so i know, know, you know. Isn't it weird that i respected more for that story 
He did all kinds of shit like that. I, I can't. 